Meanwhile, we're on to our next fight. Yeah, after winning 25 straight fights in a row to begin his career, Patrick Teixeira has bounced back with two dominant wins since his first ever loss. Tonight, he hopes to make take a step closer to title contention as he faces the confident and brash Nate Gallimore, who vows not only to beat Teixeira, but to knock him out in style. Both these guys with impressive records, both good-sized guys at 5'11", and just over the junior middleweight uh, limit. Got a lot of knockouts, heavy hands. Should be a good one. Seguir peleando, fazendo grandes peleias, e que todos podem mirar tranquilamente a pelea. Pelo Facebook é mais fácil. E, e, e fazendo um grande show para o público. Uma grande peleia que entra com todo o coração, com todas as ganas para fazer uma grande peleia ao público. Isso para mim é muito importante. Nathaniel, no problem, Calamore. Nate Calamore. Nate Calamore, excuse me. 12 first round knockouts for him, and this guy loves talking smack. He thinks he's a future world title champion. He had a shot maybe to get a title shot, had a shot to be a number one contender, but he lost his last fight to J-Rock. Well, he's got some heavy hands. He's got 17 knockouts out of his 20 fights, so you can see why he's got the confidence that he does. Comes from Illinois, Edmondson, not far from Chicago itself, and uh, there's always some good sparring out there. And I love all the fighters that are fighting tonight, and Todd, just representing from all over, which is always fun to see. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, he is the current reigning WBO Latino Super Welterweight Champion from Sao Paulo, Brazil, Patrick Fischetta! Here comes Teixeira, 27 years old. He's got some power, but you know, he took a big step back when he got blitzed by Curtis Stevens on one of Canelo Alvarez's undercards when he was fighting Amir Khan, I believe it was. And since then, he's come back. He's won a couple of fights by unanimous decision. But the question now is, is his chin as good as it needs to be? And can he put that fight behind him? Well, it turns out to be oftentimes more psychological than ever. Caught a big left hook from Curtis Stevens, and that punch can take out any uh, junior middleweight, middleweight, if it lands right on the right on the button. But Teixeira knows something about power himself. 22 knockouts out of 28 fights. So we'll see, Todd, if uh, he's able to face, he's facing another heavy-handed guy. And if he's, he's going to stand there and trade with him, what kind of approach he'll have getting into this fight. You know, this is the fight that many people feel could be the best of the night. Patrick Teixeira and Nate Gallimore. Ladies and gentlemen, vamos y caballeros. We are next. We are here for the next featured attraction, Fantasy Spring Resort in Indio, California, for Golden Boy Fight Night, live on Facebook Watch. Eight rounds of a super welterweight division being presented by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Our three judges scoring the bout at ringside, Max Toluca, David Duncan, Edward Hernandez Sr., and our third man in the ring, our referee at the sound of the bell, Thomas Taylor. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, out of the blue corner, wearing the shimmering black and gold. He officially tipped the scales at 155.8 pounds, his professional record, 20 victories, 70 wins by KO, two defeats and one draw from Kingston, Jamaica, fighting and reciting out of Evanston, Illinois, ladies and gentlemen, Nathaniel, no problem, Calamore.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing out of the red corner, wearing the shiny blue and shimmering gold, he officially weighed in at 155.6 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding one, 28 victories, 22 wins by KO, and one defeat from Sombrio Santa Catarina. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. He is the current reigning WPO Latino Super Waterweight Champion, Patrick Teixeira. And ladies and gentlemen, to give the instructions, our referee Thomas Taylor. Boxer Chief second. Boxer Chief second. Okay, gentlemen, belt line is good here, belt line is good here. Gave your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, barrel. Here's our tale of the tape. Super welterweight division. Patrick Teixeira, 30, or 27 years old. Gallimore is 30. And there's a slight reach advantage for the American by way of Jamaica. Slight, but for the most part, these guys are essentially the best. Same body style. Physically. Evenly matched, Shara, obviously a southpaw. Always difficult in there. But Jamaica in the house via Illinois. No problem, man. That's what it says on his trunks. The man's not there, but no problem is. I know, the man. The man and every, I've been to Jamaica and everyone says that, by the way. So it's not just a stereotype. It's, it's not just a cliche. <laughs> You'll get it right when you step off the plane. Scheduled for eight rounds here. Gallimore lost to Julian J. Rock Williams in his last fight by a majority decision. He was on a roll for a while there. Thinks if he can knock out to Shara tonight, he'll turn some heads. Get another crack, maybe becoming a number one contender. Teresha came out pumping that jab. Nice. Hey, Gallimore being patient. Answered a couple jabs in his own for the most part. Ooh. I was just about to say, looking to time something. He timed that nice little right hand, which landed time. Gallimore's confident that Teixeira is scared of him. Said he could see it in the stare down yesterday after the weigh-ins. He saw fear in his eyes. Well, Gallimore looking very confident in there, just with his demeanor. And patient, and he's already answered with two nice right hands. Shara's last fight taking place in his home country of Brazil. Comfortable unanimous decision victory there. Now he's in against some real competition tonight. Good body shot there. Yes. So far, to share letting his hands go a little bit more, but I feel like Nate is answering be a little more effective with his shots. A couple of those counters. So what kind of fight favors Teixeira as opposed to a fight that favors Gallimore? One that keeps him on the outside. One that allows him to keep uh, establishing his jab and and, and uh, overwhelming him with volume and being a busier fighter in there. He doesn't want to get into a slugfest with Gallimore. Gallimore, meanwhile, has to be a little busier himself and wants to work on the inside. Stop, stop, stop. No punch, no punch. Straight, own back. Jab. Straight back. Which he did Straight earlier back. on in the round. It has seemed to abandon it since then. Shara with a second chance tonight to prove that he's an A-side fighter. Kind of both in front of the stage of their career right now. Yeah, this is an important fight for both fighters if they want to continue to Time fight right at there. this level and grow. Thank you, sir. Let's send it back up to the talented and beautiful fashionista, Roxy Diaz. Don't oh. kiss my ass right now, Todd. Send the makeup over to cover up that pimple on your nose, by the way. Uh, let's go see what our Facebook monitor is saying right now. Uh, Danny checking in saying, let's go Nathaniel Gallimore. It's a lot for Nathaniel. Uh, Wallace checking in. Let's go to Hedda. Vamos to Hedda. We also got Tay Jones Johnson. This will be a knockout for Gallimore. One more here. Gabriel Broguera. Text here is from my country. Viva o Brazil. Everybody checking in. Remember
remember, it's still hashtag Golden Boy FN to get your posts up here on our Facebook monitor. Back to you, Todd and Mario. Yeah. Yo, Roxy out, Diaz with a nice counter Hoppy. punch on you there, Todd. Stings. Is Roxy single? Second round. What's the answer, Roxy? Round. Is your mic still open? Well, I don't see a ring on that finger. <laughs> Roxy, talk to us. Not, no comment. Oh, okay, and she walks off stage left. That was she was bobbing and weaving on that one. Meanwhile, I gave that last round to, to Cher just because I thought he was busier. But I felt like if Nathaniel would have let his hands go a little bit more, he could have had a little bit more success. Which is applying a little bit more pressure and being busier so far already. Let's hope Roxy's boyfriend, if she does have one, isn't watching right now. She had a chance to claim it. She walked <laughs> right off camera. Go that arm, look, go that sure arm. She's an understandable job. Tashera with a 10 9 win, according to those of you on Facebook. And Mario Lopez giving it to Tashera as well. So it's Brazil versus Jamaica here. Jamaica having a better round this time out. Well, if you watch Gallimore's fight two fights ago, when he fought Deloach, that fight was outstanding. He knocked Deloach down a couple times. They got rocked himself. So Gallimore has his ups and downs in fights, that's for sure. Well, fighters that stand right in front of you and want to trade make the most exciting fights because they're there to be hit afterward. To share a fighting the type of fight he needs to, to not be there for those rough exchanges and counters. Now, Nathaniel was being effective, being a little bit more aggressive, starting to attack the body, but now seeming to measure his punches. Michael Balzino. How do you pronounce that? Balzarino. Balzarino. Two good fights so far. Really enjoying Thanks, Michael. And we still have three to go, including this one. This is our co-featured bout. Albert Torres thinks Gallimore's going to win. Get Mugia next. Wouldn't that be oh. something? But right now, he might not win this fight as Teixeira landing some punches here. Teixeira doing a good job being busy, keeping pumping that jab. See how that jab is opposed to the last fight? He's really kind of kept him off balance, and he hasn't been able to set his feet. Gallimore from time on. Nice job going upstairs and downstairs to share and using that ring and good ring generalship. Oh, and looks, I don't know if that's a clash ahead, but there's a the red the welt point. or possibly blood on the forehead of the to share. It came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah, that might have been from a clash ahead when Nathaniel bobbed in. Let go of that arm, let go of that arm. And Gallimore able Look to close the guy. distance right, stop, with no punch, no his hands go right when he gets in there. So, so. He takes punches as he's trying to get inside. Teixeira seemed seem to be a little bit more confident too, to continue to let his hands go. Listen for the ball. No knockdown. Slip. No knockdown. Give me the gloves. Give me the gloves. Time. Good call there by the referee Thomas Taylor. Pretty easy decision to call that one a slip. Nevertheless, a good start for Patrick Teixeira. Huh? I know you're good, but listen to me. You don't need to load up. You don't need to load up. Just punch solid. Singles and doubles. When you get close to him, go to his body first. You hear me? And on your way in, use your jab and faint. Don't just walk in. Here's that moment where it was ruled a slip. Not a lot of controversy here. Uh, he overcommitted with that right hand and he got under him and made slip. Fortunately, he didn't get hurt. Back in corner, back in corner. Third round. Let's see if Let's Nate Gallimore can pick up the pace here, start landing some of his punches, because so far it's been pretty much all to share. Teixeira's gotten busier in those two rounds, gotten very comfortable in letting his hands go. He's done a good job of moving out of the range of his punches after he throws his combinations. Gallimore seems a little perplexed by his uh, his timing and hasn't been able to really see when he tries to punch. Teixeira is out of there. He's not. He's not in a good position. His legs are winning this fight for him. Too far. Good job with pivoting. 
the one two there for Teixeira. That's his game. Stay on the outside, land a jab, follow it up with a power punch. Mario Lopez scorecard 2018 to Teixeira. Facebook. Let go down, let go down, guys. Work out of that. in agreement. And they are. Pretty easy rounds to score. You gotta like the movement right now from Teixeira. Beautiful movement from Teixeira. Pivoting, moving on the mat, total matador move. Gallimore, his, Gallim his corner pleading with him to let his hands go and to work the body when he is able to get in close. That's the key word. Everyone in this corner, all three of them, just keep yelling the words, work, work, work. Teixeira doing a good job with his footwork in there. Really keeping Gallimore set up. Guessing a nice Ooh. counter, beautiful counter left hand right on the top. Straight left from the south ball, right on the butt. And again, good movement here. Total punches thrown. Look at that. Wow. Work is the right word. And a lot of these punches time on the fly. Oh, and that was caught in that left hand caught Gallimore. You got Wobble a little bit. Uppercut as well. Teixeira really showing his full arsenal tonight. Against a dangerous guys, opponent. Gallimore starting to get a little frustrated in there. And he's, he's being the aggressor this round, but not an effective aggressor. He's not. He's going in without a jab, behind a jab, just sort of rushing in, not throwing punches as he comes in. Don't exactly know the strategy. He wants to be able to pin him up. And, let his hands go, but he's got to be busy right now when he has him in the corner, right, right now. Gallimore landed a right hand on the inside there, but it didn't seem to do much to Teixeira. He's stop, loading stop, up no those bucks. shots, and by the time he's trying to land, Teixeira's pivoted and moved out of the way. Gallimore with plenty of power Let go that arm. Let go that arm. 20 wins, 17 by KO. Not setting up any of his big shots. Really Listen for that bell, gentlemen. Up. Listen for that bell. Trying to get physical now. Trying to bully to share around a little bit. Maybe that'll be effective. Punch out to the bell. Calm down. Calm down. Ref asking Listen him. for that bell. It's not going to happen again, all right? Okay, just a stiff warning. I'll tell you what. Thomas Taylor, a really good referee, and showing it tonight. He's been warned. All right, Thank you, Thank you, Listen for that. Thank you, Hey, you ring, you 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 When you you understand what I'm saying? Throw a combination when you're close. Good. Put that belt from you, right? Sorry about that. Bro, we don't want to fight. Well, you don't come in with nothing. Earlier in the round, Teixeira doing a good job. Big left hand he lighted. Look at the way he positions and just moves and gives him a different angle. Mount Mount Continuing piece. to pump that jab. Mount piece. Four. Just boxing beautifully Four. tonight. Keeping him off balance, countering a nice left. Teixeira really showing his stuff. So through three rounds, it looks to be a shutout for the Brazilian tonight. At least according to Mario Lopez's scorecard. The bad boy needs to fight like a bad boy here. He seemed to have a little success when he tried to rough to share up a little bit. That's at this point in the fight, it's an eight round fight. About halfway through. He needs to start with so far. His patient approach and his counters have not been working. He needs to get a little nastier in there, make it more of a fight. We'll set him up into getting him into an exchange. Well, Gallimore told us, listen, once he feels my power, I think he's going to crumble. He, he's going to run scared for me, but that hasn't been the case. And maybe Gallimore is just not stop, really sure stop, stop, what to do now that his game here, plan is not working. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Get over there. Ref Time. taking a minute to... Got an accident, cut from an accidental headbutt. All right, let me just see it real quick. All right, all right. Watch the heads, all right? Time in. Another Try. cut, yeah, yeah, so yeah, one yeah. on the forehead and one on the left eye. Let's oh, check that a little bit Turn to share. Turn around, we're fighting. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 let's go. <laughs> so we're fighting. Let's, let's fight, let's Patrick. Gotta look, gotta look alive in there. He seemed to take a moment to ponder out right. to the... Meanwhile, landed a beautiful left <laughs> counter. He's just regrouping himself. Maybe he said a quick little prayer. So, for once, Teixeira kind of staying in the pocket, sitting down on his punch, and throws another straight left there. I'm 
impressed by Deshera boxing beautiful tonight. And ironically, they take the timeout for a cut, and I think he suffered another cut from a headbutt as soon as they got back together. Gallum was really loading up on that left hand, didn't he? Loading up and missing, Todd, and he could be tiring himself out. That mouth looks a little open right now. Deshera gets get sloppy. Those get those punches up. He could catch him into something, but Gallimore would do himself a little justice by throwing combinations. And right, that's another slip. He tripped himself up there. It looked like he could have sprayed his ankle on that one, too. Let's go. Nice little feint there by Deshera. Hey, Gallimore, a real rough childhood. Used to be part of a gang. Moved to Chicago from Jamaica at the age of 12. He overcame a troubled street life, become a professional boxer, and a really good one. But tonight, he's not putting in his best performance. Looks off balance, not landing his power punches. I think that's due to Teixeira's footwork, who's been fighting beautifully. Continuing to pivot, give him angles. Keeping him at a distance with the jab. He's choosing. I think he's gotten a lot more confident to stay inside and trade with him. That could prove more dangerous. I would stick with what was working. Yeah, the, the biggest enemy right now for Patrick to share. Listen for the bell. Come in, listen for the bell. Gallimore's corner pleading for him to throw a combination, which I absolutely agree with. Time right there. Coming up next, it is our co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. And if you haven't seen the rooster, you're going to be excited. That's Marvin Cabrera, undefeated, 8-0 with six knockouts. The man he's fighting, there he is, the rooster, Nico Macias, never been beaten, and he throws a hell of a lot of punches, Mario. No, that's going to be a fun, fun fight. Two undefeated fighters, and you know, every fight just seems to be getting better and better, and, better. and we got to have a main event, we got a great packed house right here, it's a really fun atmosphere Don't at Fantasy Springs, the Resort and Casino. And here's the headbutt, Mario. The unintentional. Oh, there it is. Bam. Yeah. Gallimore seems just to be leaning no, in. And headbutt, that one's from a punch, that right? That cause the first cut, too. Both unintentional. Let's go. Second out. Mouthpiece in. Mouthpiece. And they hurt. They Give me cut. Favor. Get that corner, please. Get that corner. Back up. Back up. Back up. went right over so. to the corner. And the camera was right on him. He was looking up at the big screen, checking out his cut. Thomas Taylor, the referee, said, hey, we're fighting here, man. Let's go. Shira, meanwhile, he did a good job on his uh, on his cuts there, and he opens up with another big left hand on Gallimore. I'm impressed with Teixeira tonight, stop, stop, stop. Todd. No point, no well, point. I think a lot of people thought Teixeira could win this fight, but certainly not by the shutout that he's winning it by right now. And he's gaining more and more confidence in every round. Did a little faint. Look out, that gentleman. Hands are free. You don't want to get over to the point where you're overconfident and start to trade. Stop, stop, stop. Look on. Mario Straight does back. have a shutout. 40-36 for Teixeira. And why is that? He's been boxing beautifully. He's been the busier fighter. He's been landing beautiful combinations and sharp rights. And he's been keeping Gallimore off balance all night. The crazy thing is, even though I have him winning, I still feel Gallimore is very dangerous. If he's somehow able to set up his shots and get him to exchange, he could he could catch him with a big, big shot that could change everything. That's all it takes in boxing. He landed a punch there to Gallimore. His corner was frantic and saying, get back in there and throw another one. One or two at a time is not going to do it, though. So he needs to start throwing three, four punch combinations. Start getting nastier in there. And listen, if he, does, if he doesn't win this round, he's going to have to have a knockdown or a knockout in order to win because Teixeira, hypothetically, will be up five rounds to zero with three to go. Total punches thrown. Teixeira over 100 more than Gallimore. And then look at a good job of going upstairs and downstairs, jabbing the body. Uppercuts. Works combinations and continues to go back to the jab. Gallimore doesn't answer. Another nice right counter. Right on the ear. I don't know if Gallimore's necessarily been hurt. He's taken a lot of shots. He's been able to take the punch as well, but he's getting outboxed. He's losing the process. There's a right hand right down the pipe. That connected from Gallimore. A little more throatish in the chest, didn't that necessarily land on the chin. But he's got to keep throwing a lot more looping right hands, which is effective again get a southpaw. But we haven't seen any kind of a jab from Gallimore. Hasn't doubled up on the right hands. And it's Tashira who's pushing the tempo right now. Yeah, he's abandoned his body attack. 
Gallimore now retreating. Fatigue may have set in. Meanwhile, Sherry doing boxing beautifully, throwing great punches to the body. Gallimore being completely out hustled, according to Rick. That's pretty obvious. Out hustled, out worked. And right now, Teixeira looks like he's at just a different level all around. He's gained more confidence, and the rounds have become more decisive as the fight goes on. DJ Susie rocking the house here in Indio, California. A complete sellout tonight. Added extra seats for this event to the point that the fire code was a factor. They had to shut it down. No more tickets sold. Eric Gomez, the president of Golden Boy with Roxy Diaz. How do you see this fight going right now for Tejeda? Is this surprising for you that they've gone this many rounds so far? I think that uh, Patrick's fighting a very smart fight. Um, Gallimore's very tough. He's pressuring him, but he's using his legs very well. He's able to circle him and pick his punches. Do you feel like this may be a oh, redemption thanks. fight for, for Patrick? Oh, very much Six. so. You know, he got knocked out uh, in his last me. fight. So, Back you know, I think he's fighting a, a very good fight. All right, thank you so much for your time. Back to you, Todd and Mario. Yeah, and El Presidente there, Eric Gomez, uh, pointed out what I said earlier on. His footwork has been beautiful tonight. He's given him so many different angles, pretty combinations, keeps him pivoting. And he's gotten more confident, and his work output hasn't diminished in the rounds. Why has Teixeira been able to do this tonight, but against Curtis Stevens, couldn't do anything? You know, sometimes Curtis Stevens, I remember that fight, he was able to get him to the inside, stay there, and just try to do that nice left hook. <laughs> They say you don't punch with a puncher, and that was a good example of why. Bernard Gallimore landing a punch there. Facebook scorecard, it's a shutout. Got like 45, which means that Gallimore needs a knockdown. He can't win by decision without one. Starting to fight a little more desperate. Finally starting to throw a little bit. Well, like we saw at the end of round two when he was kind of bullying him to share around, kind of pushing his shoulders into him, pushing him against the ropes. That was a little bit effective for stop, a few stop, seconds stop, stop. there. No punch. No punch. He kind of so abandoned back up me. Back all the way up. He's got stop. bad boy carved into his hairline. Gallimore. And, and, and that's what he needs to be right now as a bad boy. He can't try to box him. He's got to get nasty and let his hands go if he wants to win. Power punches landed. Gallimore has not reached double digits in any round. Wow, oh, there's a straight right. And a counter from Teixeira. So Gallimore lands one, Teixeira lands three or four. Teixeira doing a great job. Look at that with his jab and following it up with combinations. He's throwing the outside. Pumping that jab. Wow. Gallimore's corner getting pretty animated. They're trying to inspire him, get him fired up, find a second win. Just over six minutes left in this fight. Teixeira, meanwhile, looking better and better each round. Yeah, if anybody looks like they're going to score a knockdown at this point, it looks like Teixeira, not Gallimore. Who, by the way, has got 22 knockouts himself, so it wouldn't be too foreign for him. Still to come, our main event tonight, Ryan Garcia, Carlos Morales. Right now, you're watching Patrick Teixeira putting on a boxing clinic against Nate Gallimore. Listen for the bell, gentlemen. Listen for that bell. Right there. Thank you, sir. Something for everybody. There's a ring car girls tonight. Hello. How about some comments? There's Rob saying he's digging this match. Yeah, Rob, I agree with you. Nice display of boxing over here. Clayton. Also, stick to it, Patrick. Patrick, look at the way to
You're absolutely right, Tay Jones Johnson. When Gallimore gets in range, he does have to let his hands go. Problem is, Teixeira doesn't let get his feet his feet set. That was a nice counter left by Gallimore, but Teixeira quickly establishing the jab again. Stay right here. And answering the body shot of his own. Nate, seven. Right on the bot belt line. Let's go. Round seven, scheduled for eight. Gallimore has to find some magic somewhere. He's relied on power most of his career, 17 KOs and 20 victories. Let's see if it will save him here. So besides getting inside, what can Gallimore do to knock Teixeira down? Well, he needs to continue throwing that right hand. Right hand after right hand, double up on it. Jab to the body, come up with big hooks and right hands, or he works his way inside and just gets nasty in there and starts attacking the body and throwing combinations, come back with left, big left hooks. He hasn't shown that he has the energy to do that, which is a bit surprising because Teixeira's thrown almost twice as many punches. Well, those um, combinations that have landed all night on Teixeira's head and keeping him off balance, I think it's taken his toll. There's a little sting that's come out of uh, Gallimore's punches. There was a one-two by Gallimore. Haven't seen that a lot. It's been single shots from the Jamaican. Here's the right hand that I'm talking about, but doesn't set it up. Just loading up on the punches all night. But with a savvy guy like Teixeira, they're just not going to work. You've got to work your way in there intelligently. Well, if this keeps up, it is a big step forward for Patrick Teixeira and a big step back for Nate Gallimore. Nate Gallimore is going to look at this fight later and get incredibly frustrated with himself because he completely abandoned his jab tonight. Didn't let his hands go when he was in there. And I think got a little overconfident with his own power, thinking that if he just lands that one shot, he may be able to take him out. And as we've seen, that hasn't been the case. Maybe Tashira has shown that, hey, listen, sure, Curtis Stevens got me. I've gotten a lot better since then, and I'm ready for a top-tier contender to prove that I'm ready to be a title holder. Exactly right, Todd. This is going to do wonders for his confidence because he's going up against another heavy-handed guy. Completely has out, outclassed him so far. And if he's able to come out victorious, I think he's right back in there. I'm sure Golden Boy is happy with what they're seeing. You can see the Gold Boy patch on the left side of his trunks. I see De La Hoya sitting in front row, smiling right now. Probably enjoying what he is seeing. Listen for that bell, guys. So seven rounds in the books. Three minutes to go Time here right from there. Indio, California. Who do you think won that round? Hashtag Teixeira round seven or hashtag Gallimore round seven? Teixeira, 78% of you say one round seven. I want to know who the 22% are that thought Gallimore won. <laughs> well, he's got friends and family watching. Oh, there you tonight. go. Well, that round was a little bit better for Gallimore. The problem is that he's late in the game for just the one punch. I, I think he's lost a lot of his steam just from the punches that he's accumulated. Come here. Come here. Give me a glove. Guys, last round. Keep it clean. Let's go. Nate Gallimore needs something extremely dramatic to happen here. He's got the power to do it, Mario, but does he have the will and does he have the energy? He's behind right, stop, stop, stop. No on if, in every hey, round of my gotta let him go, okay. Let's go. needs a knockout. He does have the power. 
And judging by the way he's racing out, it looks like he's still got something left in the tank. So if you're Teixeira right now, knowing that Gallimore's going to come right after you, do you do a lot of this movement? Is that kind of what you do, just stay out of the fray? That's exactly what he's been doing all night. I wouldn't stop that jab. I keep bumping that jab a little bit more. He's doing a little more of the peekaboo. Stop, 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 stop. I wouldn't give him a shot. Hey. Hey, listen, when I say stop, stop punching, all right? Mm -hmm. You all right? All right. It's all right. Gallimore ducking his head, walking in there like a bull. Teixeira, for some reason, has abandoned his jab. Probably feeling confident that he's got this in the bag, but he's leaving himself more susceptible. I wouldn't want to hang out there. Nice sweat we just got right on us. Yeah, we're right in the we're right in the mix, Mario. Think about the apron right there. Is <laughs> you know, with your torn uh, torn Achilles heel, you haven't been in the gym getting sweat on very often. I know you right. have to go to wild card. <laughs> Wash your head in there. Makes me feel like I'm putting in work. So the fact that Tashira wants to exchange and stay in the pocket with him, that's what happens when you start you start getting very confident when you start winning the round as big as he has. Which I believe he has. Those some low shots there from Tashira. Tashira fighting with the belief of the best offense is, or the best defense, I should say, is good offense. And, Continuing to fight it out, and I want to show some nice defense here to show. And I want to coast it out. Under a minute to go. Todd Grisham, Mario Lopez here, ringside. Roxy Diaz in our Facebook center. Good action here in round eight as Gallimore desperately seeks a knockout. To show choosing to stay inside with him. Maybe wanting to prove that he's tough too. To share, not just winning rounds tonight, but winning every facet of the game. There's a right hand from Gallimore. And he took that well, Todd. And now it's to share on the front foot. <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Beautiful display of boxing tonight. Hey, fight, guys. Perhaps the best oh, performance of Teixeira's career in a non-knockout win as he schools Nate Gallimore here tonight who will not be pleased with his performance for sure. No, I don't think he suffered much damage, but his ego and confidence, I think, took a hit. Teixeira, on the other hand, was very impressive with his performance. We'll see the punch statistics here in a little while, and it will be very one-sided, I can assure you of that. Let's look at the highlights of this fight. Patrick Teixeira and Nate Gallimore. Round two, there's a nice left hand there for Teixeira. And that kind of wobbled Gallimore. That was the only time either fighter seemed to be in a little bit of trouble. And after that, it was just Teixeira dominating. Great movement, great punching power, quickness, activity. It was hit and don't get hit. And for Gallimore, it wasn't really, there, there weren't really enough punches being thrown to really challenge Teixeira. There was a clash of heads there, which caused a cut, which briefly concerned our referee, but Teixeira got back in there and pretty much dominated the rest of the way. We could have a complete shutout here, although Gallimore may have won that final round. Here's our final punch statistics, and look at this. Nearly 200 more punches thrown, and about 90 more landed for the Brazilian Patrick Teixeira. A great performance from him tonight. Power punches, 66 landing for Gallimore. Almost double that for Teixeira. You can see a 41% percentage landed, and even the jabs. Mario telling us that Gallimore just didn't throw enough jabs tonight. And there's the proof in the pudding. Only 10 landed jabs for Nate Gallimore. Just over one per round for the Jamaican. The official decision now coming your way in the ring. Let's check it out. Here's Jeremiah Gallegos. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the distance on this fight tonight. A big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for both of our fighters and the ring.
And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we go to the scorecard. All three judges scoring this one, 78 to 74. For your winner by unanimous decision. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, for current reigning WBO, Latino Super Welterweight Champion, Patrick Pichetta! So all three judges scoring a little closer than those of you on our Facebook page and Mario Lopez, who had it 80 to 72. It was 78-74. Needless to say, though, a unanimous decision for Patrick Teixeira. He wants a bigger name in his next fight. Let's send it into the ring now. And Roxy Diaz.